So, how do we make the colors perfect in post? This is going to be a quick tutorial using Final Cut Pro. Nothing too fancy here today, just going to show you how to use the color correction tool. You can see here I have the exact same footage left and right of me over a white background and it looks pretty good. The default raw footage is pretty, pretty crisp for what comes right yeah. out of the camera. Now this isn't super color corrected or anything within the camera itself. I didn't use any special tools to get the uh, white balance perfect or anything like that. So there is going to be some exposure issues, focus issues, well not can't fix fo focus issues in, with the color correction, but we can do some pretty cool stuff. So let's take a look at the color correction visual effects. So to get to this all we do is we go right into our effects panel here in Final Cut Pro 10 and all we have to do is actually just drag it over the clip and drop it. Then over here on the right, you'll start to see, or you'll see under the effects, the different effects you have applied to the footage. I have applied to this clip, which is just a copy of the other one. And I can actually go into the color board. Now, this is a really nice tool for anybody who, maybe you're not an expert at calibrating the cameras and getting everything perfect within the camera itself. There's a lot you can do in post here. You should really, really try to get as good a setting as you can before in the camera itself before you go into this. But we can adjust the actual color so we can, for the shadows, that's what these different tabs are here. We've got the global color rating, the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. Now you can see my skin tone looks pretty good. The whites look pretty good, but there is some good things we can do here to make it look much better. Now, this is gonna really depend on the footage you have, but it's really easy just go in here and play around, grab the global settings here. We can, we can adjust based on how it looks to us. I'm using a Mac with a pretty good color gamut on the screen, which means the screen itself is pretty representational of actual color. And you wanna make sure you're doing this in a room with you know, good contrast on the video, or the, uh, the screen itself, or sorry, low contrast. <laughs> clear picture, non-direct sun, sunlight, so you can get a good idea of what you're seeing. Now on the right, you can see I'm, I'm adjusting the clip a little bit more to make the actual white stand out a bit better. I'm just gonna go through here. For me, usually what I do is I just, I have to eyeball it. There is no perfect science to this tool, for me at least. I'm sure there's pros out there with the actual settings who would know how to just auto-configure this and, and have it be great, but I usually look for something that's for the footage itself appealing to me because you know it's a video of me so I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to look as good as it can. You can already see just adjusting some of the the different levels here the midtones are a lot to do with the skin tone so if you want to make it a little crisper a little less intense with the reds just drag your midtones over into the blues here maybe you want to make it stand out your skin look a little redder just really going to depend on the footage that you have. So you can see here that I'm going to bring my skin tone just into about right there. And then I'm actually going to bring this, the highlights. Probably not going to adjust that too much because we want that to be pretty darn white. So we're just going to pop it down just a little bit to be just a hair cooler here. Really, as I said, we're just basically going to be eyeballing this for the most part. All right. Now we can go over to the second tab and play with the saturations levels a little bit here. If something looks a little off. It's always good just to give it a little look-see here. You can see the mid-tones here I can bring up, which bring my skin tone out a bit more. The shadows, maybe I want to drop those down if I have some hot spots. So usually I'll go in here, just the settings based on what looks good on the screen and then I'll render it out and do kind of a look on different monitors, my phone and things like that. Now the third tab over here is exposure. So this one is really where some of the major magic can happen, especially with like if you're using white backgrounds and you're not an expert at configuring the camera. This is where you can do a lot of work to, to bring out the shadows and highlights and things like that and really get a much more real to life image. Now you can see here, with Final Cut, it's actually rendering in the background here. So I'm gonna let it do its, its render here real quick and then we'll play it back. 
Now you can actually play back in real time, depending on the speed of your computer, the actual footage and zoom in a bit and get a better idea of how the footage is looking to you. Now what I like to do for the different lighting setups I have, I like to save presets. So in the bottom right here, I can actually click on presets and I can save this as high key studio and this was shot at 60 fps and f 4.8 so I can get an idea of how I have it set up in my studio all lights on but you'll probably have to adjust it based on your own obviously your own settings so I'm gonna attach this to the end of the video just want to make this nice quick and easy for you guys Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've used Final Cut Pro or what your preferred video editing tool is. And if you found this useful, drop a like in the comments and look forward to seeing your feedback. Okay, testing one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three, four.